Hello guys and welcome to City Skylands 2. This is Data and my series of Capricorn episode starts with 10 to 15 uh, part 2. So yeah guys, welcome back and uh, the first thing I want to do in this episode is to remove those commercials that I put the last time because we have to do something else there uh, and I'm also checking over a little bit with the jail situation uh, we haven't put down like a prison yet because we didn't have any room for it and I don't find a good spot in this area for the prison so that will have to wait and we'll have to see when we have some tiles to buy to implement the prison. Over here I have like a little problem with the parking lots. Uh, maybe I have built too many at the same place, but uh, they're causing a lot of traffic issues as they always do. But in the other part of uh, the town uh, I also have two large parking uh, places, but they doesn't they don't, doesn't cause as much problems as this. But I will get back to it later. For now, I want to make some new commercial buildings here that uh, a little more chosen, not randomly popped up, and probably will, in my opinion, fit a little bit better in the the, the, the theme I'm building because I don't use the themes. Uh, but at least, at least, like a little more aesthetic, pleasing visuals than the other ones. The thing with this series is like I buy some tiles and I have to finish them before I buy some new tiles, and uh, it kind of presents like a different challenge. It's not a huge, a huge challenge and a difficult thing, but. Uh, I this certainly have some uh, challenges that we have to address. Like I just can't uh, pop down like a prison anywhere because it doesn't fit to have a prison like in here. And also, I haven't placed a garbage dump yet. So we don't have like an ore or something mining and stuff like that. So. <clears throat> There's definitely is many things that we have to add in the future in different tiles. And here you can see that I chose to upgrade this road because I have been seeing that uh, a lot of traffic is going through this area and chose to not have any commercials and just place down some trees instead. Like in this episode, I will finish the center part over here with uh, some buildings and stuff and some tweaks. And yeah, I'm thinking a little about how to do this if I should pull out the surface areas or just do uh, like bushes and trees in the row. But I ended up with uh, making a pedestrian pa path, so the area will be a little more. Uh, walkable and walkable friendly, friendly, I think.
So yeah, with that being done, we have filled up a little bit of space and we have those nice, three nice areas in the middle to do something uh, fun with. Uh, and as I said, I want to do this area a little more walkable friendly and add some pedestrian pa more pedestrian paths as well. But, uh, otherwise, the pedestrians have to like go around the entire neighborhood and just silk circle around and that would be like a waste of time I think. So I finally ended up with uh, the choice of the row houses in those small squares over here. If I could just get the right there. All the entrances at the right road. And yeah, the reason why I chose the houses instead of other tall buildings is like uh, I don't want this to be too dense areas because there will be other areas in the map that will be more dense uh, and I kind of like the little height differences and this was uh, something that I was thinking about in the last episode as well to place a high school here instead because we are soon uh, having a little bit of a uh, problem with the lack of high school places. And I was trying to put some more residential but the hills made all the gardens looking very stupid and I was trying instead to make the parking lot a little bit bigger, but I realized that the level of uh, terrain made it hard for the stripes to be visual, so you can't see them. So I ended up with more like a extension of the high schools, um, what you can call it like a park or square area. So it will be a little more accessible for to the right as well. So now we're starting with the central, most central part of this area. And as much as I like those uh, buildings, I think that would be too much dense uh, and too too high. So again, I went with the row house to make it a little more spacious, I guess. And then we have this little part over here. Sometimes I get some bugs with the trees and I can't sh like show the trees I want, like this, and just have to do something else, uh, and then the trees works again. I don't know if you know what that uh, bug is for, or what you can do about it, or if you have the same problems. But it has been like consi consistent in the last mm, two times I've played, perhaps. It will probably be fixed in the, in the later stages. So here I'm just looking for the right uh, building that I think will fit in those little space. I think that's kind of nice that those are a little uh, shorter than those in the back. Uh, but then I realized that it's a little bit too tall for continuing all the way. So stop making them over there and I was thinking about we'll move those over here instead where they fit better and like make this a little block of the same houses instead. I'm kind of picturing that when this place was built they built like the blocks uh, at one time that the same buildings in the same block is built at the same time and uh, the other is built at a later or like an earlier time. 
fast they don't look all the same. And here we add some uh, two buildings with a little bit space with a pedestrian path in between. And then we add some trees and bush bushes to make it a little bit more flashy. Lushy, I think it's called. I said flashy. Like you see, now the bushes and the trees are working again. So that that bug I was talking about is coming and going a little bit when it feels like. So yeah, that's the center part. And then we have this last square that we chose to take the same six type of buildings. And some bushes to separate those. And some small tweaks. I'm pretty happy how this area turned out. It feels like it's pretty cozy to like live there. And the only thing we have left now in this area is uh, this area next to the big road. And uh, yeah, here all, we also have to add some trees because it's looking a little bit naked on the hill. I'm a little bit questioning about if I should have all the trees over there on the hill because for sure there will be some more areas that just it's like a plain grass and no trees and I might be I might come back and yeah tweak some stuff about that but for now I think that's okay I'm pretty happy how it looks And here we show uh, the Rahos and I was thinking about how big they were going to be and if I should do different sizes and stuff. But I ended up with like doing only 2x2 two two, so it looks more like uh, the same. And not like some people would have larger uh, gardens and some would have like smaller gardens. For sure there can be areas like that but but not here I think. And uh, we have to protect the little neighborhood from the probably more and more busy road because that road will go will move over later to the real uh, density area in the future I think where the main harbor and all that kind of buildings will be so now the other edge of the tiles over here we're gonna fill up with a little forest Because I think this will be like a busy road as well, and you don't want you want a little bit of cover from the big roads. And this is the last uh, little space on the left hand hand side of the area, where we later will build some more farms. And this is uh, where we are trying to do something about like the traffic problem in this intersection. I don't know if I probably will redo it. I will uh, try to do it like a separate right turn and see just how it pans out and simulate a bit and probably of cam also see how the traffic behaves. And sometimes there's a lot of traffic coming this way, but I think it could be like a thing right now where I plopped down a lot of buildings.
So in combination with that, uh, there's like always chaos with the traffic, and that's why I want to simulate a bit. And uh, maybe I'll come back to this area in a later future and tweak it a bit if it doesn't work, or if you have any suggestions how to solve this little traffic thing with the parkings, feel free to write in the comments and make a suggestion. I'm trying, I'm thinking about turning the parking areas as well and making a road inside and something like that. I don't think that will work, or it is just like right now there is a lot of traffic coming. I'm just trying to see. It is maybe probably because those three are connected as well and uh, they get caught up in each other if you put them uh, in this way beside each other. So maybe we'll, like I said, turn, turn some of the parkings and make a different. Uh, entrance to them in some way so the, the entrance to them isn't on the busiest road because I have two parking spots here as well so. this will be the last section of the video like when we put down the farms in the edge of uh, these tiles and then we'll just be making a little bit of uh, forest in between and uh, make it all look nice and good. So yeah, we're soon getting to the end of the video and uh, we have some more things to do but I think this is looking very nice and I'm looking forward to uh, build some more stuff in uh, other titles. But um, we have some more tweaks I like to do before we wrap this up and do the cinematics and all that stuff. And that is to tweak some of the edges of the farms. Uh, just so we don't have to be looking at those sharp edges everywhere. And yeah guys, there you have it. The tiles uh, 10 to 15 is also ready, like the tiles 1 to 9. Except of course we will go back and maybe have to do some transportation or some uh, little bit of tweaks and stuff like that. But overall I think this looks nice and I'm very happy how it looks. And yeah, that is it for this video guys. Uh, Please leave a like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.